This time on Ask Starbase, we're gonna take a look at a technology that's not really new, but it is something that uh, is becoming more and more accessible to more people, and we're able to start to find all new ways that we can use it. This week, we're gonna be talking about drones. The first question comes from one of our explorers, Zafira, and she asks, how do the drone and the controller actually connect and communicate? And this is a great question, and it actually connects to uh, one of the main reasons that the drones in general have been getting uh, cheaper and more accessible to people. And that's because uh, previously there was more expensive technologies, uh, LightBridge and OcuSync, that were uh, chipsets that had to be included in the drone that uh, increased the value and, and the cost of it. Uh, some of the newer technologies are just using extended range Wi-Fi. This would allow, uh, in general, the cost of the drones to drop dramatically. The use of this new extended range Wi-Fi for uh, drone use is raised some concerns with some uh, people that had used drones in the past that it would uh, be more prone to interference or cause uh, re restrictions in the range and distance that you could actually fly the drone. But uh, so far, uh, it's actually worked really well. The drones themselves, uh, this particular model, the Mavic Air, has a range of 1.5 miles. Another contributing factor to the lower cost of the drones is uh, something that affects many different types of technologies, and that's the small size and convenience of the batteries. Uh, battery technology has gotten better and overall cheaper in the last few years, which is a lot easier than to um, make a drone that uh, doesn't have to overcome the weight of a larger battery and uh, lower the overall cost of the drone itself. One of the most amazing things about a lot of these new drone technologies is that the way the hardware and the software work together uh, to make flying it that much easier. Uh, you'll see on this particular model, there are sensors in the front, the rear, and the bottom that are automatically avoid obstacles and will give you information about uh, how far away things are, for example. This can make it much easier for a new user to get really stable, beautiful video footage uh, after only practicing for just a, a little while. And you can see that from uh, my very limited uh, experience and practice so far. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Ask Starbase. Make sure to submit some of your questions so we can answer them to ask at starbase-ct.com. We'll see you soon.